Hey there, Leslie Sansone Williams coming to you today from Paralegal Coffee Talk on Facebook. Link below in the description box to my page. Also, coming to you today from Legal Break In, my book on Amazon, link below. And also from my class called Paralegal Inner Circle class, which you can find information about on my website, and link is below for that. So, by the way, the class starts this Monday. Enrollment is Monday and Tuesday. It's a four-week class. Uh, information on the website, okay? I uh, would love to have you. So, please consider joining us. All right, so today's video is eight reasons you might be stalling your entry into the paralegal career. So these are things that people have talked about on my page, have brought up to me personally, and I'd like to cover them in this video. One of the most um, important ones, th this has been mentioned over and over again, and all of these have, is lack of confidence. But I'm going to tell you that the next two after this, two and three reasons, will cover that. So let's look at the second one, no legal knowledge. You're going into this field as a blank slate. So that causes a nervousness in people and a lack of confidence. And sometimes people think that enrolling in a two-year school is the absolute answer to give you that confidence. It really isn't always. There's nothing wrong with it. But I'm going to cover that point as number eight. So we'll, we'll cover um, going into debt in order to enter this field, okay? So let's talk about number two, lack of legal knowledge. Well, you can get legal knowledge. That's what I talk about in my Paralegal Inner Circle class, and I teach you how to get it. And that will build your confidence. Absolutely build your confidence. You don't go into or, or, or apply for jobs feeling like you're so incredibly green then when you have some legal knowledge. So that could be a reason for the stalling. Oh, I just, uh, I, I, you know, I don't have the money to go to school and so I don't think I can do this. But that's not the block because that really is not a block that exists but sometimes you don't know that but I'm telling you as a 27 plus year veteran now 27 and a half years in the field that the lack of legal knowledge should not be stopping you okay from entering the field so you can get legal knowledge and so once you get legal knowledge, the confidence ratio goes up. You see, you get a boost and you feel it's very impactful. And so the more you learn about certain aspects, the practical side of the paralegal field, then you will feel more confident. Number three, office skills are the only skills you have. Well, let me tell you, those are pretty rock solid skills you have there, my dear. Rock solid. Now, if your typing skills are like 45, 50 words a minute, you need to bump it up. And that means repetition. You need to take typing tests online and build that speed up to 60, 65 minimum. Okay? You get to 60, 65, pat yourself on the back and let's go. You know how to file, you know how to type, you know how to proofread well, like an expert proofreader. Your English grammar skills are superb, all right? Because don't count on your attorney for always having superb English skills. Not all of them do. Some majored in English or literature, of course, they probably do, but most of them did not, okay? So don't think that they're mathematicians, they're English majors all the time, they're not. They're not, not all of them are fantastic writers either. So did that boost your confidence? I hope it did. <laughs> now family, this is number four, family does not support you. Well, welcome, welcome to that club. And I have to tell you that my mother did not even ask me about why I enjoyed the field until she was, um, much older 
in her 70s because she couldn't relate to it. And sometimes that's what happens. You know, if I was in a field that she could relate to or my father could relate to, they might want to talk to me about it. Um, although my father did watch a very, very famous trial and we had on TV and we had a lot of discussions about it. But overall, they couldn't, they didn't know what to make of the legal field. So they had no, no frame of reference, you know, nothing. They didn't know how, like what I did every day. And so they just didn't ask me about it. So don't feel surprised if they don't get what you are, what, what dream has been placed on your heart and in your mind because they have no knowledge of it you know and you're just learning about it so you have to move forward in spite of the naysayers negativity or blank stares <laughs> when you say you're gonna go into the legal field they might just stare at you like okay they don't know what that means so it's better that when you have dreams you you share them with your tribe and that means share it on our page at paralegal coffee talk you know make comments on the youtube channel your tribe is here there are like-minded people with you right here on this page uh, on the facebook page and, and on youtube so don't focus just on the family and why aren't they supporting you that's that can be an excuse too that we give ourselves as so that we don't move forward into our uh, purpose okay now number five is fear perfectly normal you have fear you know that commercial that you see people with milk on their upper lip and then they say got milk well our commercial is you got fear yeah you got it normal so just pat yourself on the back, yeah, I'm normal, and just keep going. Because the first day on the job, you'll feel fear. And you might feel fearful for two, three months as you go in and you feel like you're getting your sea legs, like you're understanding some things. Give yourself the time. Because one of the other things here I'm gonna talk about down the road a little bit is lack of patience. But first of all, let's, now fear, are, fear is a hurdle you just have to blast through. Not even jump over, just smash it to bits, keep going. Because you might feel fearful for six months, 12 months, until you feel like you've got a handle on it all. And it might take that long. So just buck up and get used to that feeling. And then as your confidence builds, the fear goes down and the confidence goes up. Number six, what people might say. Ooh, what what will they ever say? I don't care what you're doing. If you're if you're not doing well, or you're in the middle, or you're at the top of your game, they're gonna have something to say. So don't worry about it. They're gonna have something to say no matter what. Number seven, here we go with the lack of patience. You know you're not getting something like I had that happen with um, Microsoft Word and some of the things believe it or not it wasn't table of authorities that I was trying to learn or how to do a table of contents or how to do a merge document it was how to do page numbering and then if I had like um, page one through eight of a legal doc but then I wanted to change it to exhibit number one exhibit number two for a legal document good luck I, I had trouble with that so that's I would get stuck on things that maybe other people wouldn't so I had a lack of patience on learning something like that not with learning software of another type but Microsoft Word sometimes bogs me down and Number eight, you don't have any money to go to school. Well, guess what? News flash right here. I didn't go to school. To break into this field, I did not go to school. Now, what you will hear is, you must be certified. You must be certified. They're all asking to everybody, be, they are not. I will tell you they are not. And you will, this will be, this is such a fiery topic of school, going to school. There's nothing wrong with going to school. But if you're going to go into debt to go to school, I would say forget that. Go into this field without going into debt. 
I've given you what number three office skills incredibly good foundation to blast into this career okay so no money means no no job not in this case not in this case there are ways to break in that I teach in my course where you don't have to go to school and I know California has a lot of jobs out there that say you have to be certified but let me tell you something that attorneys get very aggravated by that because they worry about um, that people who are certified may want more money attorneys are concerned about that and one in San Francisco even changed the name of a job instead of saying legal secretaries, you know, because a lot of places are saying certified legal secretary wanted. He changed it to legal practice assistant. So understand, and, and, and if you're new to this career, which you are if you're listening, that attorneys are not always hepped up on the whole certification thing. It becomes something that is pushed by other paralegals as and some law firms prefer it, of course, some do. But when you when you're breaking in, do you absolutely have to be certified? Do you absolutely a hundred percent have to go to school? Zip zero nada. So take it from one who has talked to many attorneys and many paralegals who did not break in by going to school. I'm one of them. I went later in my life, not to get a better paralegal job. It had nothing to do with that. It was a personal decision of my own, to, and I didn't go get a paralegal degree. So it was something entirely different in, in biblical studies. So don't let any of these eight reasons stop you. Blast through them. No more excuses. No more excuses. I'm removing them today. So what will you do? What will you do to blast through and go into this career? Comments below like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos because I'm posting at least one or two every week don't miss them and um, watch all the videos on my channel binge watch them if you're interested in this career you will binge watch every single video and take notes okay and that will help you greatly so let me know what you think and um, stay tuned for the next video. And don't forget to come over and see me on the Facebook page. Don't be shy. Say hello. And um, also, if I go live on Facebook, which I do regularly, if the, if the connection is good, please say hello. I love to hear from you. I really do. It's like, who's out there? And I love to hear from you. And you just pop on and say hi. It's wonderful. So have a great day. Let me know what you think about the video. I love your comments. Ask questions. They do nothing but help you. Okay, so have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.